what's up guys, Ashwin here from Team Ghost Dogger coming at you with a deck profile. Who are you and what did you do? I am Adam Leonard and I came second at the War Chest Regional Slide. Go on, son. And what were you playing? I was playing Altergeist. Class. So do you want to like give a bit of background on why you played the deck or do you want to get into this? Um, I've been playing the deck since whenever Faker was released, so like last May. And I just thought it was a semi-decent pick for this event. I didn't really have much on hand at the time, honestly. But um, I've just been my second play with Alter is better than it is with anything else. Right, you just fell so back on the comfort pick. Kind of it thing. was like it's it's a comfort thing. It's like this format is so diverse. You can kind of just play whatever you're most comfortable with, and you'll probably do all right. Good stuff. With the exception of if you're playing like something ridiculous. All right, perfect. But like Alter Guys is in that kind of area where it's like it's like a grey area where it can do really well and it can catch people by surprise. Perfect. Which is kind of what it is. About. So let's get into this though. Sure. So I'll start with the main deck. So. It's a, st it's a standard altar lineup. It's three Mario, three Melu, uh, two of this guy, and then two one ofs. So this is standard. I don't need to explain this. This is just this is how the deck has been since release. Other than Faker being at one now, that's the only difference now Fair. compared to how it was. Uh, only three monster hand drops are Ash. Um, most diverse hand trap. It's easily like probably like one of the best, if not the best hand trap this format. Up there with Imperm. It's like it's, it's just really good. Then we're off the altar traps. Three spoofing. I've seen people playing two. They're wrong. You play three. <laughs> you have fuck all starters anyway. Why would you play less of a starter? Um, then two protocol, one money. I've seen people playing two money as well, but like one's enough because you can recycle it with spoofing and silk and there's just a lot of ways to get it back it's like you don't really ever need a second one mm. and it just gets kind of cloggy if you have to and you're not playing desires right i'm not playing desires yeah um i'm playing extravagant instead i'm playing fair desires Woo so uh three imperm mandatory i know it's like a four percent chance to open imperm faker but it's still insane and also the hand trap is just bonkers um three compulse this was crackdown for a long time but Crackdown, there's just so much back overhead this format. There's cosmics, there's twins, there's things like that. The crackdown is just completely inferior to this card. Yeah, I think crackdown, uh, I think compulsive is a better shout than yeah. crackdown to be honest because I played against a guy playing crackdown and I just kind of ate through it. Yeah, crackdown's irrelevant in this format. Mm. There's also the fun interaction where you can carry your own wolf your pants to your hand and the resolution will trigger. Right. Which is like really cool. These are all like the generic traps. So there's three strike as well because the card's kind of bonkers. Like, it's just, it's just a really, really good. It's like probably one of the best traps I've ever printed. Speaking of which, I main three evenly matched. <laughs> because, um, what is this? The reason I main three evenly is because Striker Orchest is absolutely terrifying if I'm going second. Like, they just Trisbane you on your own turn and they essentially can just FTK you. Like, if they Trisbane you on your first turn, there's no way for you to win. So, evenly was just another bomb card to drop against them because, like, a lot of lists aren't ending on Crescendo or anything anymore. So, right. because they're not ending on Crescendo or anything like that. It's um, it's free. It's much much safer than it would have been. Also, even the is broken. <laughs> yeah, but bad. Um, it's just it hits like I'm expecting a lot of Draco at this event as well. And funnily enough, I played no Draco. I played Draco Striker. Um, didn't see evenly. Close enough. I, yeah. I, I saw evenly my first two rounds and then never saw it again. Madness. <laughs> One of order. I saw this on stream and it was a bit of a meme. Very nice. I Draco Striker flip order. Uh -huh. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? Draws monsters. I played a bunch of spells as well for alter guys. Like three extravagance cards, are fucking broken. It's literally just pot of greed in this deck. Um, three call by. I've seen people not playing this, but it's just a trap card. This format that doesn't lose to reboot, mm. and because it doesn't lose to reboot, it lets you play through reboot and just not get absolutely shanked. Like, That's nice. Yes. Because, um, it's also, it just guarantees that like, your engine is going to be live, it guarantees that your Metal Seek is going to go through your spoofing, because the deck's already fragile and already has not enough starters, so sometimes if you link off a Metal Seek and it gets bashed, you might not have the chance to play for like three or four turns, which is insane. Two duality, I don't like three, I think two is fine, these usually came out in uh, games two and three, just because I was, I'd be citing in other cards that were just more impactful and better. Like, duality is fine, but it, it stops you from, like, from like, pushing on occasion. So it's, honestly, it's just fine. Like, I never, I never really rate it. It was good, it's really, really good for seeing side, though. Because so it, it stops you from specialing, so you can't really go off. Yeah. It did stay in for seeing side on occasion, though. If I, gotcha. if I needed to see a side card, if I needed to see a split side card, it's in. Yeah. So, onto the extra deck. Three Hextia, standard, you play three of it. It's like the only monster that you actually care about. Other than Link Rebo. Link Rebo. You play two of him, I feel like three is too many. Like, so just two? Yeah, the engine is still a toolbox, even if you are banishing half of an extravagance. It's still just nice to have the engine like live. Yeah. Because between the two Link Rebo and the two Almirage, 
it's it's near impossible that you're going to banish all of them. Like, I really don't see a reality where you banish them all. It's like a very, very, very low chance you're going to banish them all off the one extravagance. So, by the time that you are maybe triggering a second extravagance, like, you've probably got one of them out already. And they, they, can, return, they can return to us anyway, specifically in Karibo. Yeah, Link Creepy's really good. Here are all the cards I never, ever, ever summoned today. <laughs> Phoenix, Hita, Unicorn, Banshee, Ningirsu, Avramax, Bomber, Boral Sword. And not once do you summon any never of these. Never once for any of these cards summoned. Oh, but that Prime Banshee, though, you, like, you need this to out the, um, the Waking the Dragon, though. I <laughs> Come came up with London, didn't come up here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just... This, if, you, if you make this card, you're probably winning the game. There, there are combos where you can like end on like two to three negates with this guy with a um, marionetter and a manifestation yeah it's not once per turn I, I didn't know that until today actually that card's yeah. crazy people forget about it because people forget about all the guys like um, my Draco Striker opponent Keen he played it really well he um, he also forgot the Hexia was not once per turn forgot the so Hexia wasn't once per turn he forgot the Hexia wasn't once per turn right so that kind of didn't really help him too much he went actually engaged and got Hexia no you of course he had a second engage though so. <laughs> absolutely so we're on the side three system down Went in once, drew it once, but I'd also drawn double evenly, so it didn't matter. So he was just dead either way. This just got rid of the Gizmech, because <laughs> Gizmech is just a, a mouldy bastard to deal with in this deck. Yeah, it sucks, it's like, it? you have to wait for them to just banish their entire deck, and then you <laughs> can win. Because like, it, it's just, he's, he's so awkward to out, like. Um, three Village as well. This went in for, like... Draco Striker and Striker Orcus. Drew against Striker Orcus, but he, he drew the fucking stones, so it just didn't matter. Um, yeah, it just kind of, it was there for like Draco Striker and other kind of decks like that, and Orcus Striker as well, just because like it shuts down a lot of their cards, and like because they're playing a more spell heavy line, though, sometimes a village and like an imperm can just end their turn. Um, so we're onto like the trap cards now, three judgment. This was mained until I decided to main evenly, and this just went in every game I went first. Cards a bomb, like yeah, it's quite good. It's a, it's a bomb, but it's not as big a bomb as evenly, and it doesn't improve your game one second, which is why it was sided not mained. Yeah, I played against. Ultra, Ultra Ghost round 7 um, and the whole reason I lost is because I got solemned at least 3 times every game so <laughs> nothing I can do uh, I played 3 Duster as well this um, this went in once it's been in against uh, Draco Striker but I didn't ever activate it when I drew it because I also had Imperial Order face up and I was scared of popping his back row and him having like a, a Heritage or a Disciples or something and just me losing because if he just pops the order I die yeah it makes sense um I was just, it was just for mine, I was just scared of like mine and Draco and things like that, and then played one Draco Striker and no other Draco, so that was the thing. Nibiru, Cards Garbage, never went in. Never, ever, ever went in. It was just shit. Yeah, it's not it great was, this format, is it? It? Was, it was not good. No. I, it was just kind of there as like, a, a, like the 15th cards, like it really just wasn't good. Like I just... He's kind of bad, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, he's very cool, he's very good, he's very bad. <laughs> okay, perfect. All the best that they can play around. <laughs> <laughs> right, thanks for the profile. Um, do you want to give any shout-outs before, before, before we wrap up? Yeah, shout-outs to the entire team for like helping me test and helping me improve this deck and just improve my testing play since I've been on the team. It's been really amazing just like testing with all these. Shout-out to, shout to Cormac Adams for just like serying this with me and just helping me along with like certain things. And um, It was actually his suggestion to main the Evenlies and I'm really fucking glad I did in the end because it was just so, so good. And um, I'm just absolutely delighted. Good job, DZ. I'm just, I'm just really delighted. DZ, excuse you. DZ, I got shit on me. DZ, <laughs> DZ, 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 bitch. <laughs> Call him out. Call him out right now. No, no, no. You, you cannot top Irish regional, DZ. If you are a poor player. Porco Dio! <laughs> I really hope we've more Italian fans. <laughs> fans, yeah. Give, give me back my extravagance. You don't need it anymore. I need it now. I only play this deck. I don't own other cards. This is why I play. Alright, thanks for the profile. Right. Uh, stop being Italian now. Peace out, boys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>